Hey guys, welcome back to Silhouette Success. Today I am doing something just a little bit crazy. I'm going to take my three favorite crafts and turn them into one project. I'm going to be using Silhouette Studio to create a sublimation print and cut lines for a puzzle. And then I'm going to be exporting the SVG of the puzzle file over to the Xtool software and cutting it out of three millimeter base wood. I cannot wait to show you the results. It turned out amazing. Now, if you are ready to see something a little bit different, let's do this. For today's project, we're going to use some basic white acrylic paint. We're going to use some polyurethane. That's going to help the sublimation process basic foam brush, this adorable sublimation print, and a 12 by 12 base wood board. Here goes the first coat. I'm putting down a layer of white paint so that the sublimation print shows up nice and bright. And we wait. Once that's dry, we'll put on the second coat. I am not the best painter, but that's okay. And we wait. When that's dry, we put on the coat of polycrylic and we will head over to Silhouette Studio while this dries. Here we are in Silhouette Studio and I have already brought my design in. I'm going to use this as a sublimation print. So I am going to center this to the page. I understand that not the entire thing is going to print and that's okay. Head up to File and Print. I always check the print preview to make sure that everything looks okay. Then click print again. I'm going to be using my EcoTank 3760. That's my sublimation printer, so we will click on that and print. I don't really need this on the design mat to design the puzzle area. I just need to draw out a rectangle and I am going to make it the same size as the print area. The next thing I'm going to do is come over here and open up the puzzle panel. Right at the top you want to puzzle selected shape and you can see that it is brought in the cut lines that will form puzzle pieces. The next thing you'll see is your rows and columns. I want a few less pieces in this design. I'm making it for my grandson. So let's do five rows and four columns. That will make a 20 piece puzzle. But I also want the pieces to be eh, not quite so wonky. So we're going to work on the puzzle settings here, we have curve, ripple, and wobble. We can adjust each of them with these sliders here. And you can see how the shapes change as I pull the slider down. There's a little less curve to the pieces. Let's lower the ripple. And let's lower the wobble. With everything set down to zero, you have just pretty basic puzzle piece shapes, and that's exactly what I want. Again, this is for a child. You also have the option to randomize selected puzzle, and that just switches the shapes up a little bit. I kind of like that. 
if you are cutting from a magnetic sheet, then you would just go ahead and go over here to send. And you would pick your material. And like I said, you can do the magnetic paper sheets. Let's see if we can find it here. Here we go. Magnetic paper. It's printable. So you can cut it right out of magnetic paper and it can be put together on your refrigerator or other metallic surface. You can also cut this out of chipboard. I have not tried this with the regular blade. I've heard that it requires a craft blade and the craft blade may have some issues because it does the hooks and loops outside of the cups, cuts. This might be a little bit too complicated of a cut for the craft blade. However, I am not cutting with the Cameo today. I am going to go ahead and sublimate this image on a piece of wood and cut it out with my X-Tool M1. So instead of heading to the send panel with this, I am going to come up to file and I am going to save selection to my hard drive in the downloads folder as puzzle and as an SVG file. Click on OK. Now at this point, I need to open up the Xtool software and import my image. Just double click on that and it brings it right in. Let's get this print taped down now and ready to press. I did let that coat of polycrylic dry for two days in hopes that the print does not stick to it. We'll see how this goes. I have my press set at 385 degrees. I'm going to lay down this piece of butcher paper for protection. You can see the image there. Let's get that set in place. I wanna make sure that none of it is hanging over the edge. And I am going to go ahead and press this for 60 seconds. Got my heat gloves on. Let's see how this came out. I don't like the way that paper is sticking. I think we are going to have issues. Yes, the paper is sticking. So I am going to go and let some cold water run over top of this while I peel the rest of the paper away. I shall return. Here we go. It actually came out beautifully once I got the paper off. Now back in Xtool Creative Space, I've placed the sublimated board in the M1 and closed the lid. I now have an image of the area that I have to work with. I need to get my settings right and then adjust the cut lines. First, set this to cut, then choose my material, and triangular prism. I need to scale this down a bit. The framing looks okay. Now I'm going to cross my fingers and start it up. I 
I can already tell that this is way off. I just rearranged my office and I think I may have jarred the camera a bit. Um, in order to save this project, I'm going to cancel this cut, readjust, and try again. Okay, I think we have it this time. You can see here that the first cut would have left a very uneven border. Other than that, we have nice smooth cuts. Let me know if you'd like to see me use the silhouette on magnetic paper to make a puzzle. I'm really having fun with this puzzle panel. I've not had my X tool for a terribly long time. I only have one other video on it um, on my page. If you'd like to go and watch that, that's right here. And if you are done with YouTube for the day, go create something amazing and I will see you in the next video.